I hope you have a great day. With 2022, with 2022 coming just around the corner, what are some of the lifestyle changes that we can make? What are some of the lifestyle changes that we can add to our life for our overall health? You see, a lot of people have become health obsessed today. We're trying to do more and more and more. Doing more doesn't mean better health, but doing the right things and doing the right things consistently gives you better health. Today's lifestyle change that we can start right away or we can start it in 2022, that's up to you. A lot of people like to start new in the new year. I prefer that we should start whatever's good for our health right now, today, because our heart doesn't stop beating, waiting for the 1st of Jan. Our kidney doesn't decide to take a break. Our liver doesn't decide to take, take a break. Our blood doesn't decide to stop flowing uh, till the 1st of Jan. So what I'm talking about today is a very simple process. Whether you're working from home, you're working at office, wherever it's possible, or you come back, all you need, all you need is something as simple as, I keep this around me all the time. You're gonna need a tennis ball for this lifestyle change. If you have a foam roller, that can do, either a, a foam roller or a tennis ball. What are you gonna do with this? Whether you're sitting or standing, you gotta get into the practice of starting to roll your feet, rolling the base of your feet on this tennis ball or on your foam roller. I like to keep the foam roller below my desk. I sit barefoot and I'm rolling both my feet at regular intervals on the foam roller. Or sometimes after a workout, before a workout, or just even before bedtime or any time, you take a nice firm tennis ball, you put it under your foot and you keep rolling. Sometimes it's painful for you. And if it's painful for you, it's actually a sign that you need to do it more and more. So what can this help you? It comes from Chinese medicine. It comes from reflexology, foot massages. Why do we all enjoy a foot massage, at least most of us? There are health benefits, documented health benefits from a foot massage or when you use a foam roller under your foot or a tennis ball. Number one, blood circulation. And that's why human beings are designed to walk and to move. That's why a sedentary lifestyle, or like they say, sitting is the new smoking. When you're sitting, your blood circulation slows down. Now when you rub or you roll your feet over a ball or a foam roller, you stimulate blood circulation. We need blood circulation for every function in the body. Blood carries oxygen from the air that we breathe and nutrients from the food that we eat and transports it to millions of cells in the human body. So if we have blood, poor blood circulation, we have a lot of health problems, a lot of them, from malnutrition to acne on the skin, to hormonal imbalances, to poor hair, to the graying of hair, to rapid aging, to stiff muscles, the inability to heal from injuries. We need proper blood circulation period. And this is something that can help you do that. It also helps you to relax. When was the last time you got a foot massage where someone was just pressing? the base of your foot, and you fell asleep or you felt so relaxed. So rolling your foot on a foam roller or a tennis ball helps you relax. It can help you reduce anxiety. It helps you feel less anxious. It's also linked when you're feeling depressed. If you can do this, you start to feel a little bit better. I'm not, gonna, I'm not saying it's gonna be the solution for your depression. Uh, it's gonna be the thing that takes away your depression, but it's gonna make you feel better for sure. Edemas, when you have water retention in your foot, you have edemas, <clears throat> someone pressing the base of your feet, or you doing this gentle foam rolling, or with a tennis ball can also help you reduce most kinds of water retention or edemas in the feet. Injuries and pain, this can help you with injuries. You see at the base of your foot, why is it so important in Chinese, med in Chinese medication, in Chinese medicine? Because they believe that at the base of every foot, you can stimulate every single organ. So if there is a part of your foot, under your foot, that pains when you roll the ball, that is actually linked in Chinese medicine to a problem that you may have in your organ. And we've actually seen this in our kidney patients. A certain part on the outer part of their foot, when you press it, it kind of pains a little more. So everything in the human body, that's the intelligence of the human body, it's all interconnected and that's why acupressure works. That's why acupuncture works. That's why meridian centers work in alternative medicine and healing. You should never make a claim that doing a foot massage will take away your disease, but can it make you better? Absolutely, yes. So it definitely helps you with injury and even pain. When people have tight muscles, like their calf muscles, the knee, they have knee pain. They have pain in their quadriceps, in their hamstrings, in their glutes. These are all tight muscles pulling on one another. 
a lot of people have knee pain, not because the knee is paining. It's because the quads and the hamstrings are tight. Between that, you have the knee and then you have tight calf muscles. So when these are tight, they pull, they constantly pull. They're not relaxed, they're not flexible. So they pull on your joint, on your knee. And most people's knee pain is because of that. So using a tennis ball or a foam roller under your foot can help you to loosen up these tight muscles as well. I spoke about the mood, how it impacts your mood. It's also great for sleep. I'm studying more and more on the documentation of a foot massage and putting you into a deeper sleep. So you may want to try this tonight. You may want to have that tennis ball or that foam roller and you do maybe five minutes of rolling on each side under your foot and you get into bed and let me know if that worked for you. Usually anything natural won't work immediately. It'll take me maybe a couple of nights of practice before that works for you. It's used, like I said, to stimulate organ function. Sometimes your energy levels increase after you've done a little bit of rolling under your foot because it stimulates different organs in the human body, your lymphatic system. Your lymphatic system is your body's garbage disposal system. It only moves when you move. Unlike your heart, when you sit down or you lie down, your heart still pumps blood, but your lymphatic system only moves waste when you're moving. To stimulate the lymphatic system, walking is one of the best, or jumping. So when you walk, you start the lymphatic system. When you're sitting, the lymphatic system isn't working. And that is why it is so important for people with lymphomas, lymphatic cancers, any condition dealing with the lymph nodes, swelling of the lymph nodes, uh, uh, toxin accumulation in the lymph. This can be extremely dangerous to you because lymph is waste that has to move. It's a waste product. And for that, you need movement. But you can stimulate the lymphatic system even by foam rolling under your foot or using a tennis ball. There are studies which are emerging. Okay, they're documented, but we wait for more and more studies to come in. How foam rolling under the foot and a tennis ball can also help you lower your blood pressure. This again works on the science of increasing blood circulation and reducing anxiety. So this is something that you wanna start right away. You know, it doesn't cost you money, a lot of money to buy a simple tennis ball or a foam roller, which you should anyway have, have at home because a foam roller is great for after a workout, tight muscles and all of that stuff. It's beautiful when you use it the right way. Keep it under your desk or every one hour if you have a sitting job, stand up, roll a little bit, one minute on each side and get back to your work. It's the little things which are the most powerful things in life. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, breathe deep and remember you care is all about you.